structure. So we're doing some diagnosis. You guys might see an alarm or two. Okay, we copy that. We Good morning from Mission Control in Houston. Uh, we're on the air with a space station update here from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. You're looking at a live view here inside the room. The Expedition 42 crew members are safe and in good shape inside the Russian segment of the International Space Station after an alarm was enunciated around 3 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. segment of the complex that sometimes can be indicative of an apparent ammonia leak. Following contingency procedures, the crew donned masks and moved into the Russian segment of the station, closing the hatch to the U.S. segment behind them. Once inside the Russian segment, the crew members were allowed to remove their masks. We need to emphasize that there is no hard data to suggest that there was, in fact, a real ammonia leak. Again, we need to emphasize that there is no data at the moment suggesting that there was, in fact, a real ammonia leak. Flight controllers here in Mission Control in Houston detected an increase in pressure in the water loop for thermal control system B on the station, one of two redundant cooling loops, which triggered the enunciation of that alarm on board. Acting in extremely conservative fashion, the crew was directed to isolate themselves in the Russian segment. Non-essential equipment in the U.S. segment of the station was also powered down per the procedures, but at the moment is in the process of being powered up once again. In an exchange at 6.02 a.m. Central Time between Expedition 42 Commander Barry Wilmore of NASA and spacecraft communicator Jim Kelly, Kelly said flight controllers were analyzing their data, but said it is not yet known if the alarm was actually triggered by a real leak or whether the situation was caused by a faulty sensor or by a problem in a computer relay box that sends data and commands to various systems on the station.